Well, I love his extreme close-ups where he's like on his eyeball and waking up into like a little nosebleed. And no, that movie is amazing. When you begin writing a screenplay, I understand you start with a number. Oh yeah. Um, well, generally, say you've already have the idea, and that at this point for me, I believe in the incubation period. Some call procrastination, which procrastination does exist, but I do believe your mind, your psyche, if you're focusing on one specific tale, there's a period of time that you're writing a lot of notes down. And then eventually I'll do a paradigm, which for me is writing a line across the top of a piece of paper. And then I always choose a random number. And the number for clowning was 34. And I put 34 notches at the top of the piece of paper. And for me, this paradigm is the only blank sheet of paper I'll ever face. And I'll force myself to put a scene, a little one sentence describing that scene, telling myself the whole story on that piece of paper. And then from there, I will, once that paper's filled, I'll translate it over to note cards. And as I'm translating every one of those, 34 will become 38 to 40 note cards on the wall. And then obviously when you write it, it'll become 90 to 100 scenes eventually once you're really breaking it down. But for me, by the time I get to writing pages, I'll have already told myself the story in its entirety three different times. And so it really frees me up to, at that point, just have fun with it and also improvise. I like the idea of writing and knowing so much about where I'm going that I can just forget all of it and just be there. And sometimes the story will take some lefts or rights, but I know where I want to try to get to in it. And for me personally, this all developed out of the need to finish the screenplay. And so for me, it's as long as I have the paradigm filled out and the note cards on the wall, then I know that the script will be written. Is that a fear of yours? I know you, you're very much about finishing it, but does that plague you? You know, the only time I'm ever feeling a kind of fearful notion is when I'm doing the paradigm, because I think there's still the question mark of, will this idea fulfill itself? You know, will it fully come to fruition? And so it probably saves months and months of heartache where you have an idea and if you just sit down and start writing and maybe you get 20 pages into it and then you get sidetracked and you don't know where you're going, well, you could end up coming back to that screenplay for months. For me, maybe three days to a week, if I haven't fleshed out that paradigm fully, I'll generally put it into a very specific drawer with other ideas where they'll percolate longer. And so for me, it's once the note cards are on the wall, I know that's the next script that I'll write. And then it also helped me, like this process has now breached me into being a professional writer. And what that means to me isn't necessarily making tons of money or being able to sell scripts quite at this particular moment, but being able to execute a screenplay in a timely manner. And I think you really have to compartmentalize your process to be able to fulfill that need. So if a studio was like you have 30 days, some writers really maybe couldn't sit down and say they could do it in 30 days, where that process kind of lets me know, like, okay, it's here, and I can push this faster. So let me see if I understand that correctly. So 34, mm -hmm. it's almost like plot points? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I'll, I'll also decide early on if it's going to be three acts or two acts or four acts, and that's based on the character, the genre, what's happening in it. Um, but the number is just a random, I mean, I'll even do stuff as far as Googling that number and reading behind it. It's never an odd number. I'm an even number guy, so I never do odd numbers. Every script ends in an even page and it ends in an even number of scenes. Or I delete a scene. <laughs> are there numbers that you just think are bad luck? No. Okay. No, 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 no. I think that numbers are telling us a lot. And I think if you're open to it, you can, it, it, they're guiding us in particular ways. Now this is going into another notion of life, but screenwriting is all about numbers, right? And, and getting into a scene as late as possible, out as early as possible. What's the point of the scene? How many pages is that scene? 
you know I don't know I feel like a lot of numbers I mean it all is broken down so much as numbers right like even when you look at how many lines can fit on one specific page so you're always kind of locked into that realm early on I heard David Lynch say that he would use note cards and if he got the 56 note cards then he would know that he had enough to write a screenplay and so then reading lots of screenwriting books over the early decade of doing it I ended up grabbing little tiny snippets from different people's processes and so yeah so that, that's why I ended up doing which is interesting though because I handwrite everything so at some point I end up having a lump of note cards in my pocket because I'm too afraid to leave them at home because there's just too much information there oh so you take them with you depends on the story depends wow. on the story like so the one that's on my wall right now I'm not I'm much more confident in what it is it fell out so fast so simple but if it's a very complex thing I might get more nervous and you know I'm kind of a nervous person though I go back to the oven multiple times and check to make sure the thing's <laughs> off a billion times you know, I'll be out the door be like one more second I'll run back inside check everything again I'll unplug every charger yeah you know. Or do you have any note cards on you right now sir do you have note cards on you no I don't have note cards on <laughs> me okay. but I but my next one's on the wall so I always take pictures of it wow. so I can zoom in in case something happens too and so is that because you're afraid of that you won't remember it or something will happen to it I'm afraid the building's gonna burn down and it's over and I'm just gonna have to figure it all out over again okay, okay <laughs> that's fair but then you don't put it um on an app or mm -hmm. in the cloud somewhere. never okay no, 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 no. Only, only, only because I like to physically write. I do a lot of typing and then editing when the, I don't want to necessarily edit the future films, but all my past work I've edited and did all the sound design and mixing and all these different things generally for most of them. Um, so I like to be as physical and not looking at a screen as often as possible. So even. I hand wrote a 156 page draft a long time ago when I was first learning how to write screenplays I had this notion of like what if I hand wrote an entire script and so I had all these note cards up and I would choose a random scene and write it and then at the end when I had it all written I would put it all back in order and then I typed the whole thing I would never do that again but I do think every story is asking a different for a different process like there is a script I've been writing that doesn't want any pre-production and it just is there and exploring and writing that but generally I like the prepping part of it does it have anything to do with numerology I've read a lot about numerology I wouldn't say that this necessarily has to do with that as much as maybe a little OCD uh, but but also there's a part where I feel like so I've written maybe 20 30 plus screenplays and I feel like every time I sit down to write there's always a notion of will I get through this one you know like I don't know there's always this kind of notion of like sitting down and saying you know am I going to make it to the end of this thing and so I love the pre-writing because it kind of already answers that question for me especially if it's really alive and like I'm telling myself the story and I'm so entertained I lose a couple hours while just telling myself it but did you see pie oh yeah wait wait Darren Aronofsky's mm -hmm. pie yeah 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 definitely Interesting. yeah I'm just thinking of just uh, just some brief scenes just I know it's not the same but <laughs> well I love his extreme close-ups where he's like on his eyeball and waking up into like a little nosebleed and no that movie is amazing yeah Darren Aronofsky's the best he sure is yeah, yeah.